Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria and this is Super Geeked, where I like to talk about all the things that get me super geeked, including reselling. And today I have an epic thrift haul for you. That's right, it is multiple thrift stores on multiple days of items I've been hoarding to make a haul. And it's time, it's time I do it. So go get yourself a snack because this one's gonna be a long one, but stick around if you wanna see what I'm picking up to resell online on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. So if you're new to my channel, my average cost of goods is around $5. I live in South Mississippi on the Mississippi Gulf Coast between New Orleans and the Florida Panhandle. And so just an overall, because I don't even remember what I have in this haul, um, my average cost of goods is going to be about $5. So the first item that's up is this beautiful lavender sweater. I was so excited when I found it because as you can see from the tearaway tag, it is Lululemon and they only had this marked at $4.99 on that day. It's got a pretty curved hem. I just love this color. And here is the Lululemon logo. So really excited to get that one listed. And then I also found this sweet little hoodie. It's super soft, a gray with these pretty little ribbon. And as you can see, there's a little Lululemon logo there. This one also has the rip away tag with the size, which is awesome and also has the Lululemon logo down here at the bottom. So cute, found these two Lululemon pieces together. Let's see what they had this one marked at. This one was $3.99. So, and these are from America's Thrift Store, which you may have seen some America's Thrift Supply unboxings. America's Thrift Store is a huge thrift store chain here in the South. And I really like thrifting at their stores. So um, this is another sweater. We're going into sweater season, so that's good. This one is an open knit. And it is by the brand Guinevere, which is an anthropology brand. Just a cute little sweater. Guinevere, I believe, isn't sold at anthropology anymore, so it's an older brand, if I'm correct. But usually the sweaters I pick up from anthropology brands sell really well um so and <laughs> they only had this one marked at $1.99 so that was a yes okay looks like we have another sweater gosh I hope I don't bore you with all these sweaters this one is Magashoni and it is cashmere it is a pretty navy just really soft obviously because it's cashmere and just a basic sweater but there are people out there that search just for cashmere Another item from America's Thrift Store that I was super excited to find was this beautiful blazer. And it is by the brand Rena Lang. So Rena Lang is a haute couture German design house. And I don't know how this ended up in a thrift store in Mississippi, but it was only $5.09. And if you aren't aware of brands like this, the sure sign that this blazer is quality is you can feel that it's wool or a wool blend. And this has virgin wool, silk wool, and a lamb. So that's one clue. The next thing is that this is leather. So you can see the collar is leather. Also, the buttons are signature buttons with the designer's name on it. So definitely signs that this is a quality piece. Um, the Real Real and Vestige take this brand. Um, so it is definitely a nice find for me for $5. Um, love it. Super excited. And I love the plaid of this blazer. I love to pick up blazers this time of year. Blazers are hot sellers. Girls like to pair them with biker shorts and crop tops, believe it or not, or high rise jeans and a t-shirt. So blazers are always a big seller for me, 
especially in fall, but also in winter. So it shouldn't be any surprise when I saw this vintage quilt sweater at America's Thrift Store that I was going to pick it up. And uh, this was at a different trip to America's Thrift Store. I actually ran into a reseller friend of mine that I had not met in real life, Caitlin, this day. So super excited to finally meet Caitlin in person. Um, but I found this awesome vintage blazer that I can't wait to list. It's got hearts and flowers and butterflies very much still on the quilt trend this season um don't know how much longer that's going to last so definitely want to get that listed okay i've been expanding <sighs> y'all know for a long time i have said that i have a love-hate relationship with j jill and eileen fisher but i have been picking up more of their pieces because they have been selling for me um, but i am picky but this is a j jill piece that i got in america's thrift store and it was $9.99, but again, my average cost of goods is about $5. Now this is a jumpsuit, which is one of the reasons that I picked it up. It's got this adorable tie belt and a floral pattern. I will pop up a stock photo so you can see what it looks like. And I just thought it was really cute. So as I continue to experiment with J. Jill, uh, this is definitely the type of things I'm going to pick up a little more modern and trendy and not just basic um, is what I'm looking for with that brand. Okay, I was super excited that day when I saw Caitlin at America's Thrift Store that I found some good American jeans. These are white good American jeans. They're the good legs, which is a very popular style, skinny. And Caitlin was like, how much are they? Y'all, they had them marked at 99 cents, which never happens at America's Thrift Store. But there is a tiny stain on the back. I don't know if you can see it. But again, I mentioned this in my last haul video that with white, I don't have a problem getting stains out. So, and who's going to leave good American for 99 cents? It is totally worth trying to fix those jeans to buy them for 99 cents. Okay, y'all might laugh at this fine. <laughs> this is totally not my aesthetic. Does not go with the stuff in my store, except for maybe a little bit of trendy stuff, but <laughs> I saw these and could not pass them up. If you are a kid from the 90s, which I went to high school in the 90s, you know what this is. It is Trip New York. These are some denim bondage pants. They lace up the side. They've got the hooks on the front. They've got hooks on the back that are signature and say trip. They've got zippers. These pants are wild as this brand is known. So I was excited to find these because they are a hot seller. I may even list these on Depop, which I don't list anything on Depop. So, but those kids on Depop, they'll eat those things up. So that's probably where that's going to get listed first. The first thing I found on this trip to this America's Thrift Store for $7.99, which is average for jeans in this area, is a brand I love to sell, Wil Wilfred Free. And they are some denim carpenter jeans. They have the carpenter pocket here on the side. They have a little buckle there at the bottom and it has a really good resale value so definitely pick those up okay y'all so there are you know just like in your area i'm sure there's a lot of other resellers and you're friends with those resellers uh, you shop at the same places i've said over and over i love thrifting with friends it's not competitive but do you ever go and find a piece at the thrift store only to find out that your friend who's a reseller bought a matching piece that goes with the set that happened to me <laughs> a reseller that you all probably know alicia over at murray life was showing in a recent haul a sweater that looks surprisingly like this with an ombre effect this sort of sherbert colors and <laughs> when she showed it i started laughing because i bought the cardigan and she bought the shell that goes under the cardigan so they must have had them separately hanging on the racks. And she, like me, saw Saks Fifth Avenue cashmere and was like, well, I'm picking that up. So 
grabbed it, but my girl has the matching piece to this for sale. <laughs> so uh, y'all, if you don't know Alicia, which I'm guessing most of you probably do, I'm going to link her channel below. She's an awesome person. I know her in real life. I can attest that she's a cool person and a great reseller. So definitely give her a follow. All right, I found some more jeans. These are Lafayette, Lafayette 148. They are a dark wash. Lafayette 148 can be hit or miss sometimes, but they do have a following. And if you didn't know this, you can also send Lafayette 148 to the Real Real, which I'm not really sending anything to the Real Real. But these were half off at Goodwill, so that was even better to find some Lafayette 148 for half off. All right, I got this blazer at America's Thrift Store, and it is Elizabeth and James. I love this tweed, and then it has a ruched sleeve right here with the buttons. It's really stretchy, even though it's a tweed. Just a really cute blazer. And again, I love to sell blazers. All right, got a vintage piece coming at ya. And this was also half off. It's a inconspicuous red knit sweater, but it is Christian Dior. And this is the Monsieur line. The Monsieur line was sold at department stores back in the day. Um, and you can also tell it's vintage because it's 100% acrylic, which was very popular in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, but can't leave Christian Dior at the thrift store especially a cute knit like that that's going to be great for the holidays all right i'm hyper hyper picky with this brand but i like the style of these jeans the brand is cabby and again cabby is one of those brands that has a following but these are cute distressed jeans normally when i see cabby jeans they are very basic and these are sort of like an almost like an acid wash um, but with the distressing on it, and again, that's not typical of their jeans, but I really like these. Also, if you see cabbie jeans, you'll see these two dots, these two metal dots here. That also is an indication that they are cabbie. And I got these at Goodwill. Okay, I did pick up this at Goodwill also. I don't normally pick up this brand, and it is... Calvin Klein but I did grab it because your girl loves a good shirt dress they're very vintage inspired 1950s also it's a black and white gingham print and it's new with tags it originally retailed for $129 and you really want to get your new with tag stuff listed in Q4 which is what we're in now because of the holidays a lot of people are looking for new with tags items for gifts so um, I thought that was a no-brainer to grab that dress. Very much my style, good price, and new with tags. All right, let's talk about some shoes real quick. At America's Thrift Supply, I found these babies. So they are Birkenstocks. They do need some cleaning of the footbed, which is no big deal. And my friend, Caitlin, said she had actually looked at these, hoping they would fit her but they were a little too big. Wouldn't you know, I slipped them on my giant foot and these babies fit me. <laughs> so I thought about keeping them, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. Um, but can't pass up Birkenstocks. And so I was super excited when I found them. And then that day I did find these little leather mules and they are by UGG. They're just little slip-ons, pretty clean. They did have them marked at $9.99, but no big deal because I know that I'll get a good return on my investment and they don't need a lot of cleaning, which is what I'm really looking for as far as shoes these days. So I uh, was happy to pick them up for $9.99. And again, my average cost of goods is going to be $5. So, um, And then I went to a Goodwill and I did find these Eileen Fisher sandals. They're in good condition, need a little bit of leather conditioning. Now this Goodwill in Ocean Springs that I went to does mark things up. They had them marked at $12.99, but with the average cost of goods for that shopping trip, it my cost of goods on these are going to be closer to that $5, like I said. So they're not going to be $12.99, but I do like picking up Eileen Fisher shoes, even though I've had a love-hate relationship with their clothing. Next up is a 
tweed poncho with this really cool kangaroo pocket, uh, sleeveless, and a cowl neck. And it is by Bryn Walker, which is a mid-tier designer. It's a tunic length, and I checked comps on it. It looks pretty good, so picked her up. I tend to pick up newer styles of this jean brand. It is Citizens of Humanity, and this is the Rocket Crop High Rise Skinny. Just a basic skinny jean, but priced right, so I grabbed it. Okay, then I found this sweater on the way out of the America's Thrift Store. It's a nice duster length cardigan with these fun pockets. I love cardigans this time of year. And it is Free People New Romantics. It's a nice heavyweight cardigan, even though it is an open knit. Let's see if I put my hand behind it. So it is an open knit, but it has these nice big heavy buttons. And they marked it at $5.69, so I grabbed it. Ooh, this is one of the exciting finds I found at Goodwill. So y'all gonna know who this lady is. That is Johnny Was. And it's this silk floral slip dress. It does have a built-in tie waist. Very pretty, very flowy, very Johnny Was. So there's no way I was leaving her at the thrift store. Okay, then I don't, I rarely, rarely pick up this brand, but I do like this dress. It is Trina Turk, and it is this beautiful neon chartreuse color with a lace overlay just to kind of calm down that neon, but really pretty knee length would be a great like event dress. And it has, you know, signature zipper on it. It does have the hook and eye at the top and the back. So really cute dress. Um, so I thought it, you know, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, the second cabbie piece in this haul, there's the cabbie label, that's the newest label. And it's this cute little cropped cardigan. It has buttons that are covered, but they're little snap buttons. And they're covered in ribbon, just a nice quality little yellow sweater. Comps looked good on that, probably about 35. So I grabbed it. Okay, hey, let's check out some vintage pieces I picked up. This is a very 90s homecoming prom dress in this satin with the lace overlay. It does have built-in crinoline at the bottom, just a little strip of tulle. And the brand is Jessica McClintock for Gunny Sacks. So I don't normally pick up the 90s Gunny Sacks, but um, the, the prom or more semi-formal pieces I do like to get. I think they do well, um, but that's basically what I'm going to pick up in the Jessica McClintock for Gunny Sack stuff. This, and uh, you'll see this a lot with vintage. The brand doesn't necessarily matter. <laughs> you, although you know this brand, it is Easy Spirit. They make shoes, I think. I don't know if they still do clothing, but... But when I saw this linen skirt, I thought, ooh, I'm getting that again in like a green chartreuse color. It is midi length. It does have a drawstring at the waist and an elastic panel in the back. It's got these big patch pockets and I'm probably gonna get one of the girls that models for me to model this piece because it is really cool. Pair it with some sneakers and a tee. It's gonna be a really cool statement piece and that's what we like for vintage. These are also vintage and designer. So the brand is Michael, Michael Simon. And these look like green army pants that I would have worn as a punk rock kid in high school. Look at those pockets, very much army pants. But if you go down the pant, they do have these really cool zipper pockets. And at the bottom, they have this really cool embroidery and beading on both the legs of the pants. This one has blackberries, so cool. And I look these up. I do not think this designer's around anymore, but his stuff can go for a nice price. So um, yeah, something special like this, I'm not gonna leave at the thrift store. All right, we're getting to the end of the haul. Let's do another vintage piece. This is a denim jumper. 
It is from Warner Brothers, and you can also tell that on the front by the little pocket friends here. I have found that the Looney Tunes characters do super good. And the great thing about these vintage pieces with Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes, they always put the date. So this is from 1998, which is the year I graduated high school. <laughs> so I uh, picked this up and I expect to get at least $50 for it, which is um, about average of what I get for these pieces. All right, what do we got next? Okay, this is a We the Free Top that I have sold several times. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a crop length waffle knit with the cuffs and love this pink color. I've sold it in white and I think blue, but never pink. So, and I still love to sell free people. And then this piece will be great for fall also. It is a plaid peplum bottomed flannel and it does have i had to look it up to make sure that this is intentional because it sort of has this like bleaching effect i don't know if you're going to be able to well you can kind of see on the camera but it is also by free people so grabbed her all right coming to the end i really debated on this and this may have been a poor decision on my part but as a reseller you know we still make mistakes doesn't matter how long you've been reselling but it is Sandro which was one of the reasons I picked it up it's also pink which I love but it is a bit of a dated style and I did sell an Escada piece that looks similar to this this one does have a tie belt but it is sort of a little matronly looking so um not sure it's going to be a quick seller but I grabbed it so I'm going to sell it and the last item's not a brand I've ever picked up, but I liked the style of this piece. And I'll do that occasionally if I like something. Uh-oh, uh, looks like I finally changed outfits. <laughs> Actually, my camera died and I didn't realize it didn't film the last part of the haul, which was the last item I was showing you. It was this cute little romper no special brand it's actually called Lily, which I think is just like a boutique brand, but it's this cute little off the shoulder romper and you're probably thinking Victoria it's getting cold we are already in fall in most places going into winter why are you buying summer stuff well I list stuff all year round but also resort wear is going to come up come out before you know it usually around mid-December January a lot of brands start putting out resort wear so they're putting out hot weather stuff because people are booking cruises and vacations to get away from that cold weather so I list stuff year-round no matter if it is warm weather cold weather what have you it's getting listed so that's the end of the haul <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm picking up to resell. I know it was a long one, but if you've stayed here to the end, thank you for sticking around. Let me know what your favorite thing from the haul was. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that on your way out and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content because it helps my video get seen. And as I said on Instagram, my views have been in the toilet lately. <laughs> Don't know what's up with that, but anyway. Thank you guys for watching this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.